Hello everyone, Moose Thorned here, and these are my impressions of the RE-verse little network tests. And I gotta say, it's pretty fun, though kind of weird, but mostly fun. And the fun is mostly with the enemies. <laughs> As you can see, their nemesis chased me down, and then I turn into a molded. If you're not familiar with this game, it's basically like uh, Resident Evil. Call of Duty, almost. How it works is you play as a Resident Evil character. Chris, Leon, Claire, Jill, Ada, Hunk. And after you die, you transform into a creature. As you can see now, <laughs> I'm Tyrant. And I am slashing everybody and they're trying to hide in the closet. But you can't hide from the Tyrant's claw. The more purple vials you pick up, the stronger your creature becomes. So right now I'm Chris, but I have no vials, so when I die I'm probably going to be the base level molded guy. He is actually deceptively good. <laughs> we got a double kill there, I turned into the molded, she turned into Nemesis, so I just ran away. And I'm trying to come back, but the molded is not bad, he's no match for Nemesis. But he does explode when he dies, so if you're really close to somebody... As you can see there, I got a kill. It must have been the Leon behind me. But he's deceptively good. Um, Jack Baker is another character you could turn into. He has the double-bladed scissor chainsaw. He gets the punch, which is an instant kill if you land it. Now I'm the Hunter Beta, which is another really good creature. The best thing about him... Is not the tail swipe, <laughs> which I'm trying to do against two invulnerable characters, but the acid spit, or acid spray as they call it. He's one of the few creatures that get a ranged attack. Nemesis gets the rocket, which, man, I wish I could have used Nemesis more. I only got him once, and I wasted it because I was so excited. I just wanted to run through and punch people, but I should have used the rocket. With this guy though, I kept my cool and focused on that acid spray. Already got two kills stacked. And we're going in. Got Claire in the face. <laughs> the way the points work in this game though is weird. You get like no points for a kill, maybe five. And if you get a revenge kill, which is obviously killing the guy that kills you, you get 20 points after that. And if you kill someone in first place, you get more points. Same thing for second or third, but first obviously is the most. So, it took me a while to figure out how the points work, but... Oh, look at this beautiful nemesis. I wish I could be here right now. And when they're glowing, they're invulnerable. I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get that tentacle out of my crotch, dude. Okay. Chris does get the special ability Indomitable Spirit, which makes him invincible for a few seconds, long enough to tank a Nemesis Punch <laughs> and get the kill. But as you see in there, the explosion on the molded, pretty good. Um, so his L1 is the invulnerability, his R1 is Super Electric Punch, the Kazuya Doria, if you will. I mean, not really, but it might as well be. Oh, and we got some Jack Baker action. Jack on Jack. Which Jack will win? Me, Jack. And his L1 is the welcome to the family punch thing you saw earlier. And the R1 is like the double spin. Oh my god. You never want to be in between people when they're trying to kill each other. So the hunter just ran away so wisely. And I don't know, I got grenaded or something. So once you get used to the points, the game feels better, but... It also kind of feels weird. I don't know how to describe it, it's like your character's really light. They're just kind of floating around. It doesn't feel, like, weighty. But, I don't know what you do about that. Nailed them with the grenade. They do have 
um, grenades and rocket launchers you can pick up, I think, after a minute. They start to pop up on the map. Um, that is cool, definitely. Get those if you can. I got two creature vials stacked up, so I'll be something good when I die. And three kills, four kills. They call it the Quadra kill. I don't know why, though. And the Dark Souls roll for the win. And I got the Indomitable Spirit, but it didn't reload first. That did not give me enough time, but finally, I get to be Nemesis. And I get clawed. I do punch a dead body a little bit and blast Claire in the knee. However, right before I punch Honk, he shoots me in the spleen. So, sad. And this is actually my only first place. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how the points work, like I said, and then, you know, you lose actually five points, I didn't mention this, when you die. But make sure you try to kill the guy that killed you if you want some points. With my molded hop, the molded claw, and then 10 points for the kill, 20 for the revenge, and 7 more points because he was in second place. Ugh. And then you lose 5 when you die. Jill is my revenge target. So if I kill her, I'll get extra points. Get some ammo. He spawned right behind me. I love when someone spawns behind you and they're invincible and they shoot you in the face with a shotgun. But I got the molded again. Molded, like I said, deceptively good. Got the stomp hop. Got a lot of points for that revenge. And the monsters seem to do less damage to each other and more damage to players. And the players seem to do more damage to monsters. But they also do more damage to players. I don't, I'm not sure if players get any sort of damage reduction. But the monsters do seem to get a damage reduction against other monsters. Or maybe the monsters just have a lot of HP. And that's how they have it set up. They're, the monster attacks don't do a ton of damage, but the players have low HP. I'm not sure exactly. Hard to say just from playing the little network test slash beta slash whatever it is. I didn't do a ton of different players. I tried uh, Chris and Hunk. Hunk has a invisibility thing and a knife. The invisibility is pretty good because the creatures won't see you on the map. Not the map, but uh, they have like x-ray vision that can see players through walls. And Hunk can hide from that with his invisibility, which is nice. Oh jeez. Everybody is coming in. But if you stay in the middle, you get that explosion for two kills. I don't know if that was both right there or I had one earlier. And the green herbs are scattered around the map. You can't pick them up. You can't jump through windows either. <laughs> but if you are hurt and you walk by it, it will heal you. Best shooter in the game. I mean, I'm the best shooter in the game. Sarcasm, hopefully. We're able to pick that up. Dude, I'm the master of the hop, though. I'm not the best shooter, but I'm the best hopper. Put me up against a rabbit, the rabbit's going down. I mean, no one hops better than me. Now I'm just ig ignoring that guy. Going for. I believe that's Ada. I'm trying to slash her, hop on her, or explode on her. Got the hop again. And I don't know what happened. I exploded though. Probably killed somebody. Got five kills. It looks like. Hey, I don't know how that works because I died, but I still have five kills. Maybe it's only. I don't know. And there's the Indomitable Spirit really shining. Leon blasting Chris with the shotgun, but he's so indomitable. Nothing happens, and then I died. <laughs> I don't even know who 
this person over here. Ada's always killing me. I hate Ada. So I <laughs> give her the hop of doom. Dude, I'm 100% on my hop accuracy. Oh no, the spark shot. Oh god, she finally killed me. I don't even know what killed her. Oh, she turned into Nemesis no fair. Dude, I don't even need Nemesis. I just mold people. With my mold powers. I have special mold bullets, too. Yeah, 339 points. No one's gonna catch up to me now. I'm pretty safe. Five seconds left on the clock. Oh, the Bakers. <laughs> And molded guy. So that was our reverse. As far as I know, it is free if you already have Resident Evil 8. I don't know if they sell it separately if you don't. But I'm gonna give it a chance, see what happens. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another one for you guys shortly.